Hi friends and welcome to the channel! In this video, I'll show you how to insert an interactive map into your Power App Canvas app, something like this, where you can plot different points, you can zoom in, zoom out, pan around, and so forth, in just a few easy steps. Let's go! Now to get this to work, you do need to enable geospatial services in your environment first. To do that, you can come into admin.powerplatform.com or have your administrator do that, and then come into Environments. Select the environment that you're working in. I've got TTT here for tiny technical tutorials, and then go to Settings up here on the top. Geospatial Settings is under Features, but the easiest way to find it is to start typing in Geospatial. There we go. And then over here, make sure this is toggled on. If it's off, then just toggle it on. You'll need to then agree to the Terms of Service, and then make sure, very importantly, that you scroll down here and hit Save. So nothing actually changed for me, so that's not available. But if you've made that update, you want to hit the Save button there for this to take effect. And that's all you should need to do on the back end. Now we need some data. Now back here in our app, you'll see that I've plotted some addresses or some points on the map here. And we're going to need to pull that data from somewhere. I've got it in Excel, so let me open that up. Now this is the data all ready to go. I've got it in the Complete tab here. But I want to start from scratch because there's a couple of things you need to do to get this to work. So what I'm going to do is just copy this data. Incidentally, if you want to use this data for your own testing, I'll include it down in the description. But you can also use your own. So I'll copy this. I've got another tab here that's totally blank, Locations. And I'll just paste this in as the values so we don't get any of that formatting. If you want to use your own data, just make sure that you've got valid longitude and latitude values and then obviously the name or the address that you want to put in here. Now very importantly, you need to format this as a table. So just select your data, and then up here on the Home tab, go to Format as Table. It doesn't matter what you use here, I'll just select one of these blue medium styles. Make sure you have the right data selected. I do have headers in mine up there, the name, longitude, and latitude. So I'll select that and say OK. And then up here for your table name, you don't have to rename it, but I'm going to call this Locations. OK, save the file. I'll do a Control S. And then let's go back to Power Apps. So this is my completed screen. Let me add a new screen. We'll start from scratch here as well. I'll just add a blank screen. And here's where we'll insert the map. So you want to come into Insert, and then the Map Control is under Media, all the way down to the bottom, Map. I do have some data sources connected for other things I've been doing in the app, but let's go grab that new Excel workbook that we just completed. So we'll add another data source over here under Data, the database icon, click on Add Data, and then you want the Excel connector. The easiest way to get this is just start typing in Excel. Import from Excel. We're going to grab that workbook and say Open. And then over here on the right, you want to choose the table. So I had the table that I had completed before called Locations Complete, but the one that we just did was just called Locations. So select that and say Connect. And once again, this is just to pull in those addresses or the points that you want to plot on the map. Obviously, the map control is here and it's working, but we want some addresses in there. So to hook this up to your data, over here on the right, on Properties, select Locations, Items, and then select Locations. And then there's a couple other things you need to update to basically map the properties of this map to the column names in Excel. The first one of those is going to be Items Labels, right here. And this is going to map to, back in Excel, this column right here, Name. So I'll type that in here, Name. And then we need to work with the latitude and longitude. So items, latitudes. In Excel, this column was just called latitude. And now we're starting to get somewhere. And then there was items, longitudes. And this one was just called longitudes. Or longitude. All right, there are additional properties here for things like colors and icons. We're just going to go with the basics, though. I will save by hitting Control S. And then up here on the top right, we'll play this thing. And there we go. There's our map. There's the different locations that we're getting pulled in from Excel. We can zoom in, 
pan around, we can zoom out. And obviously, if you had locations in other parts of the world, as long as you had the correct latitude and longitude, you could get those plotted on here as well. So that's it. That's how you can use the map control in a Canvas app and add locations to it. If you want to learn more about Canvas apps, check out the link in the description for my full three-hour course. And thanks so much for watching.